Ripping a DVD to your computer is easier than it sounds, and there are a ton of ways to do it. Our favorite method uses a free program called Handbrake, which is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Head to its homepage at handbrake.fr to download and install it. Now, on its own, Handbrake can rip DVDs, but it can't rip copy-protected DVDs, which includes most of the DVDs you'd actually buy in a store. In order to do that, you'll need a little extra setup before you start ripping. Head to the Lifehacker article below and download Live DVD CSS for your platform. If you're on Windows, rename the file to libdvdcss.dll and drag it into Handbrake's program folder, which by default is in C Program Files Handbrake. Check and make sure that it's copied correctly, and you're good to go. If you're on a Mac, Handbrake should prompt you to download the correct file, but if not, you can get it at the Lifehacker post below. Once downloaded, just double click on the Live DVD CSS package and follow the wizard to install it to your computer. Now you're ready to start ripping. Open up Handbrake and select your DVD from the source menu in the upper left hand corner. When it's finished scanning your DVD, which can take a few minutes, choose a chapter to rip. If you're ripping a movie, it's usually the longest one that's close to the top. And for TV shows, you'll want to look for the 44 or 22 minute chapters and rip each episode separately. Right now I'm ripping a TV show, so I'm going to choose the first episode on the disc. Next, click this browse button to choose the location of the ripped movie. Give it a name and click OK. Choose a preset in the right sidebar to determine its quality. If you'll be watching on your computer, normal or high profile is fine, but if you'll be watching on an iPhone or an iPad or an Android phone or something like that, choose the device from the list to get an ideal format for it. Then just click start. This will take a while, so go grab a cup of tea or read a book or do whatever else you do to pass the time. When it's done, you'll hear a jaunty notification and you'll be able to watch your movie or sync it to your device for watching later.